just a game that you never quite got into? Well, obviously, I think it was 65% of possession and maybe more territory. Um, 18 penalties, two yellow cards. It's difficult to get into the game when uh, you're, giving, you're giving them so much. Uh, most of the time, they don't need that much ball to score. And uh, at the same time, I was, I was really proud of the effort because normally when you play like that against the All Blacks and, and you give them 70% territory and possession and that much penalty and two yellow cards, normally the score is much higher. But uh, our boys, I think it was like two... 210 tackles or 220 tackles. You, you don't see that those many tackles nowadays. So uh, really proud of the effort. We need to to be more clinical. Played the two different styles, South Africa in a bunch and now New Zealand. What was the, the big difference that perhaps the players didn't adapt to as well as you? No, I, I wouldn't say the, the, the big difference. The big, or, or I would say that the common theme is uh, Ill discipline. Uh, we we had the second game against South Africa. We had uh, 23 penalties, and uh, we had 18 today and two yellow cards. And uh, a couple of those penalties came from several advantages. So you can you can you can add a cup a couple more penalties too. Uh, so it's difficult. It's difficult uh, to to get any grasp of the game when you when you're being so <coughs> indisciplined. So you weren't—you wasn't you're not, not criticizing the referee. You're criticizing the ill discipline of your own players. Well, it, it, you heard it like I was criticizing the referee. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm ah. just wondering. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm saying what I'm saying. I'm, yeah. I'm saying we were ill disciplined. I'm not. I'm. I'm not putting any videos on internet and stuff like that. So <laughs> I'm. I'm fine. I'm fine. If I mean, if I have something to say to the refs, I, I'll. I'll tell the refs. Very strong. That 10, 15 metres from your, uh, your, your own trial line. Booker got a couple of big turnovers in that situation there. And uh, very, very strong in, in that area. That's what you're talking about in terms of being very proud of that. Yeah, 100%. Place. Julian got a couple, Pablo got a couple. Uh, but we didn't capitalise those occasions. What, most of them finished in a, in a lineup for them 20 metres out. So the, the pressure was still there. And then when the, when when you have territory pressure and you have scored ball pressure uh, against this kind of teams that they are, they are the best in the world, it's it gets uh, it gets too hard. Last year, the Tri Nations seemed to bring out the best in the tournaments. Do you feel it's different this time? Is it is it is it been too long? Look, um, there's not a, a simple answer to that, but. Uh, since last year, we, we've been living in adversity. So March last year, we lost Super Rugby. And then uh, players had to go elsewhere. So find another another job. Uh, that on one on one hand, it was that. And obviously, we lost any, any tier, tier, let's put it, tier one competition in terms of, 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 of uh, franchise. So... Uh, we had to find our way in South America, and that's what we got. And uh, nowadays, 90% of our players, if not more, that started today are, are playing in the Northern Hemisphere. And now and we are competing in Southern Hemisphere. And, and obviously, these guys, they finished their season a month ago or a little bit more. Then they played the, the July tests. Then they went on holiday. And then back from holiday, we had four four training sessions to, to play South Africa. So the first the first game of the preseason that normally you're playing in Orange against the uh, Emus or something, you, you played against uh, South Africa. And um, so all, all, all the welfare, the player welfare and uh, giving them rest and stuff like that got, got out the window. Uh, and and no, nobody seems, seems to care when, when it's one of the top teams uh, going into quarantine or not traveling and this and that, it seems to be a big issue, player welfare and uh, even mental mental health and stuff like that. When it's against Argentina, against Argentina, nobody seems to care. Nobody was talking about us being in quarantine. We've been in quarantine and bubbles in the July test. We were in bubbles in South Africa. We came over here, we we're in bubbles and quarantine. 
and nobody seems to care. Nobody's talking about that. But uh, we take it in the chin. That's what that's it is what it is, and I, I'm not putting it as an uh, as an excuse. But that's a reality, and I, I'm trying to uh, to answer your question at, at best as best as I can. But uh, that's that's the reality or the normality of our players that has nothing nothing to do with normality. Mario, have any of your players approach you or maybe your team manager and uh, expressed how difficult it has been mentally to to cope with the circumstances? Well, I mean, we're all dealing with that. Uh, it's been it's been more than two years we've been playing overseas. We didn't have one home game in two, in two years, and uh, every every time we have to play uh, against international teams, we're in a bubble or in quarantine and uh, in our rooms. <laughs> Obviously, it was much better this year, but it's still a quarantine, so it, it gets to you, and it gets to players, it gets to staff, it get it gets to everybody. But uh, again, it is what it is, and uh, if we don't accept that, we're out of the picture. So so we accept it. Could the frustration off the field that you're experiencing with so much adversity be sort of triggering some lack of discipline on the field? Like players go out feeling a little bit. Don't know, and don't know, don't know, and I don't want to put it as an excuse. So I wouldn't say that. No, they they should know better. You feel like now that the 14 days of isolation are over, life's going to get better here in Australia for a little while. Well, it is better, but it's it's been a month already. <laughs> I was uh, away from home, and we have a couple of weeks more to go. Uh, but again, it is what it is. I'm, I I don't want to, I don't I don't want to to use a, an Australian word, whinging. I don't want to be because I'm not. I'm just I'm trying to answer your questions, but I'm not I'm not putting anything as an excuse or whinging or anything. With, with the All Blacks, though, it's uh, definitely their defence. Uh, our board is building to take interceptions all the time. You know, they got caught out uh, once, I think, uh, late with Rico Tijuana, uh, mm. putting one on the ground. Um, how important is it to police the offside line in, in rugby? It <coughs> seems everyone gets closer and closer. You almost uh, back lines are drawing. Yeah, we knew we knew that they they bring a much uh, a much higher. Uh, line speed in, in their defense. They changed that uh, since last year, I think. Um, we've been penalized a lot in, in South Africa for that. And obviously, South Africa does uh, like a rush defense, maybe the, the only team in world rugby that does that. Uh, and they don't seem to be, get penalized a lot. But uh, it's up to the refs. I mean, it's up to the refs. I know why you're asking that question, but uh, I, I, cannot, I cannot answer it better than that. Julián, le haces un balance en castellano, por favor, para la prensa que está ahí en Argentina. De lo que quedó del partido, lo que tengamos que mejorar pensamientos, por favor. Sí, como decíamos recién, creo que en cuanto a posesión y a territorio, ellos tuvieron mucho más que nosotros y la indisciplina volvió a ser un factor, un factor clave. Eh, tenemos que muchas cosas por corregir y la verdad que no, no hay mucho tiempo eh, hoy que dura lo que tengo que leer veremos el partido seremos autocríticos y arrancar la semana entrando duro no hay no hay atajos no hay, no hay ni una fórmula mágica sino seguir entrenando y, y hoy se vio se vio claro donde tenemos que mejorar así que como dije recién seguir seguir entrenando y, y nada mirar para adelante